Hi everybody, Wagner Alasco here again. Today I'm gonna talk about beginner's winner's mindset. What do you have to do, at least it worked for me, on how to be successful? How can you prepare yourself? This is the roadmap that I utilize. Hopefully it's gonna work for you. I'm going to start from the beginning, right? This is how I organize my brain. Everybody's different, so don't take it, you know, if it's not good for you, utilize whatever makes sense for you. I use the three pillars, always in every project, in every investment, in every beginner's mindset that I utilize, I use three pillars. One of them is money, right? People think money is the most important. Let me tell you, it's not, it's not. So out of the three pillars, money. Hard work is the second one and opportunity is the third one. If I have an opportunity, for example, a real estate development project, and I, I really do a lot of work into actually making this successful, do you think I'm gonna get the money? 100%. I have track record, I have good friends, I have people that I can actually call and introduce the opportunity, so probably I'm gonna be successful without any money, right? Now, if I have the money and I, I work hard, I can find the right opportunity. So if you're just beginning, don't actually think that the lack of money is a deferent or determinant factor for you to fail. It is not. Utilize those three pillars to make who you are successful. Number two, very, very important on this topic is goals. Four letter words that will make your life successful or not, right? If you don't apply. <clears throat> what do I do every year? I start the first week of the year with my goals for the year. Me, my family, we have goals. What is that? The goals can be very clear, written on a piece of paper, in your wallet, in your car, in your desk. Goals are always renewable. Don't set goals, oh, I wanna make a million dollars if you're making $40,000 a year, right? Because it's gonna take you a lifetime and you're gonna get frustrated and you're gonna feel like a failure. So set goals that are realistic. Remember to have daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly review of your goals. If you don't know where you're going, any road will take you, right? And you're not gonna be where you wanna be. The most important topic that I wanted to discuss today, it's called take action. Believe in yourself. Make sure you're educating yourself. Listen to podcasts, watch videos on what to do, or what do you want, your topic. If it's real estate, great. If it's not, learn about it. If it's uh, actually a cryptocurrency, get to know what you wanna know about. Get inspired by people, right? I will never be Warren Buffett. I will never be somebody that successful. It depends what success is to you. So make sure you set to be the best you. You want it to be the best you, not your neighbor. Forget about your neighbor. Who cares how much money he makes? Take action. Don't sit on your couch drinking Corona or eat, eating chips or potatoes. Make sure you set your goals very clearly and you go out there and you take action. You will make mistakes, but those mistakes are gonna make you stronger. Learn from the people out there. Go out there, take action. I'm Wagner Nolasco. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Please subscribe, send to your family and friends. Make sure we're here for you. Send us topics. We want to know what you want to know about so we can do more videos. Those are the three major tips that I have for you to succeed in life. At least it worked for me. Find what drives you. Thank you very much. Go out there, take some action, guys. I'm Wagner Nolasco. No